30 years ago, uh, Meyerson solved the problem for uh, finding maximum value uh, revenue auction with one items uh, with independent uh, distributions. And uh, uh, after that, for many years, that people have been interested in the uh, case when one wants to uh, sell uh, multi-items. And uh, it's a uh, uh, difficult problem, and uh, still a lot of research uh, going on. And uh, in this talk, we are going to address two questions. Uh, the first one, is there a simple mechanism that can achieve constant approximation of optimal revenue? And uh, the second question, uh, can the Bayesian incentive compatibility uh, revenue be much higher than the uh, uh, dominant strategy uh, incentive compatibility? And uh, uh, we'll give some solutions to uh, uh, these questions uh, uh, under the assumption of uh, independence of uh, the different input distributions, uh, but otherwise they can be uh, arbitrary. And uh, we uh, uh, made progress by uh, 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 introducing a particular way of reducing a M buyer uh, multi-item auction into N disjoint uh, one buyer K item auctions. And uh, uh, the uh, results in this paper were uh, presented uh, uh, earlier in the year at the uh, SOTA conference. And uh, let's start with some background. In the simplest case, you have n equal to 1 and uh, k equal to 1. And the, uh, uh, the seller has partial knowledge of the buyer's interest and captured by a, a distribution f. And how does the seller maximize the revenue? And, and uh, uh, now uh, uh, there is a, uh, a, a, a natural solution is uh, just try to maximize uh, the x, the, uh, 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 the price, which maximizes the x times the probability of uh, the, uh, the price being accepted. And now, uh, how about the multiple items and the, uh, multiple buyers? And now, uh, for k equal to one item and n buyers, as we mentioned, Myerson solves the problem uh, completely. And uh, when k is greater than one, it's more complex even for one buyer. So uh, let's look at the one, one buyer case um, uh, under the assumption that the distribution of the items are independent. And uh, so let's use this notation to uh, denote the uh, uh, revenue that can be obtained by uh, two simple algorithms. One is to uh, sell separately, and the other, other is to uh, use uh, bundling. And in a seminal paper by uh, Hart and the Nissan in 2012, they, uh, uh, they asked some uh, really uh, interesting questions about the structures of the uh, uh, multi-item uh, auctions, for example, whether the uh, uh, revenue is uh, it, it's, it, it's sub-additive, uh, uh, namely that uh, uh, that that if you if you have two auctions, it's not possible to obtain much much more revenue by uh, combining them into into one. And uh, uh, now uh, they uh, apply the, the structural results obtained to uh, a study. Uh, really concrete questions. For example, the, uh, uh, if you use simple mechanisms, how far can it uh, be away from the optimal revenue? And they, they proved that uh, selling separately will achieve uh, by uh, off at most by a factor of log k square. And uh, uh, the bundling uh, is, can be off by at, at um, uh, most a log factor if all the uh, distributions are identical. And uh, uh, later, uh, it was shown uh, that uh, these bounds can be improved. So the uh, uh, selling separately uh, can be taking one log factor off. And uh, uh, now for the IID case, then the bundling actually achieve the optimal revenue. And, and, and these bounds are uh, tight. And now, uh, what about the 
uh, so, uh, but this doesn't give a algorithm that um, obtain a constant factor for the general case. And so finally, uh, Babayev et al. Uh, uh, proved a very elegant result showing that if you uh, look at the setting separately and uh, the bundling, then it's off by, uh, uh, at most, a constant factor. And so uh, now the question is that what about the case when you have n buyers? Uh, is it possible to have a simple algorithm to uh, uh, achieve a constant factor of the optimal? And uh, that was exactly the question one that we were uh, uh, we raised. And uh, so to answer the that first question, we'll. Uh, we we'll prove a theorem one uh, that shows that there's a simple and truthful mechanism that achieves a constant fraction of revenue. And the approach is to reduce the problem to n disjoint uh, one buyer problem and uh, uh, using that insight to uh, uh, obtain a constant approximation for this problem. And now uh, this reduction uh, actually is useful not just for answering question one, but uh, for answering question two as well. It shows that the Bayesian uh, can be at most a constant factor of more revenue than the dominant strategy uh, I see. And uh, there are some other uh, consequences as well. And uh, let's start with uh, 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 looking at this program uh, in solving Theorem one. So we are uh, we'll uh, kind of combine the reduction and uh, the other steps together to uh, show you uh, in one package on how this simple algorithm would look like. But the reduction will be uh, become pretty clear, and that will be useful for other purposes. And before showing you the concrete uh, reduction and and implementation will uh, 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 make a remark about the, uh, uh, the motivation for this, one, this n to one buyer reduction. And now, in general, uh, for any mechanism, if you put the constraint that every item has to be assigned to some buyer, and uh, you furthermore, uh, you can assign them only to the highest bidder. If you put this very strong constraint, then uh, it's clear that the mechanism must sell each item separately using the uh, second price uh, victory, uh, victory uh, auction. So, so uh, you cannot do anything uh, better. But uh, how about more, how about relax, relaxing those constraints a little bit? Uh, let's say that uh, any item, if assigned, can only go to the highest bidder. So uh, the question is, can such mechanism, any of such mechanism, uh, if you take the best of them, can you achieve our purpose, namely to uh, uh, achieve a fraction of the optimal revenue? So uh, the thinking is that uh, instead of just uh, blindly trying to find a, 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 a good simple algorithm, let's say that, let's search within a limited domain of a particular type of mechanisms and see if it's possible to already get a good solution from this class. And, and the reason why constraining the class is a good idea is that, uh, uh, the, the, as in our case, uh, it turns out that uh, when you make this constraint, uh, it's very easy to characterize the kind of, of, of uh, uh, mechanism uh, in this class. And it actually consists of decomposing the general uh, problem into n one bitter problem. And, and uh, uh, so uh, that's how it comes about. And, the, and we are going to see that um, any mechanism in this class is naturally decomposable. And uh, now, if, if, you, if you think about it, that um, the, uh, uh, what is the structure of a mechanism uh, in this class? Uh, uh, because you can only assign the items to the highest bidder. So it means that when I look, uh, if you look at buyer I, 
and uh, if all the other uh, values have been fixed for the other buyers, then uh, if you look at the maximum value for every item, then uh, you will not assign the item to buyer I unless its value is uh, above that, uh, that value. So uh, that gives you the, uh, uh, the notion of something called a, 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 a particular type of, 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 um, of one buyer auction as we'll, uh, as we'll see. So um, let, let's go to the notation. Uh, this is a standard notation. The valuation of buyer I and item J is XIJ is drawn from a distribution uh, over the positive numbers and the payment is denoted by S and the allocation is denoted by Q. The QIJ X is the uh, uh, allocation uh, of the J item to buyer I uh, when the input is, is X and the mechanism is uh, just defined by the allocation and the pay payment. And uh, so now, uh, as we said, that uh, the decomposition of the end buyer uh, auction into one buyer auctions uh, have a special nature, namely that uh, they are, we are interested in one dimensional auctions where there's a threshold, beta. And this beta, uh, when we apply it to our case, would represent the maximum value of the, uh, of the bids from the other buyers. And uh, the def so uh, we'll say that a mechanism, uh, so now we are considering the uh, uh, one buyer uh, K item auctions and a, a mechanism is called the beta exclusive. If uh, no allocation can be made, if the bid is less than beta J. And uh, now, uh, so what do we want to do uh, with our, how should we design our, 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 our mechanism? Well, we would want to design the, uh, the best beta exclusive mechanism that gives you the maximum possible revenue. And uh, now if you can do that, then uh, that's the best you can do. And, and, and so the, 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 uh, to, to design a, a, a simple mechanism, we would like to design some simple beta exclusive mechanism that are, um, that, that, uh, that, that are a good approximation of the best beta exclusive mechanism. So let's look at some examples of the possible beta exclusive mechanism. Uh, the first one is selling separately and we'll just pick a uh, price vector uh, that is uh, point-wise greater than the vector beta, and we sell each item at um, gamma at gamma j. And uh, another example uh, is sort of an extended version of the bundling, uh, but this time with a surcharge. Uh, so basically, uh, what we would like to do is for the buyer to pick up those items which uh, their valuation is bigger than the beta J. And uh, they should pick those items, we'll give that bundle to them, but uh, th they have to pay in addition to the beta J. Uh, altogether, there is a surcharge W that they need to pay. So uh, you can see that uh, in both example one and example two, these are truthful mechanisms and they are uh, beta ex exclusive. Nobody wants to pick something which, uh, uh, for which their true valuation is less than that. Uh, are you yeah. selling? Uh, in the sum, you're selling positive and negative numbers, or you mean to? Oh, that, so uh, you will not, so uh, we are offering this price, saying that you can, you can pick any subset, and, but you have to pay those uh, beta J and the plus an additional W. So if you are, you are, you are, uh, 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 your, uh, your valuation uh, altogether excess uh, valuation is less than W, then you will not, you will not buy it, okay. And now, uh, 
let's look at both example one and two, and let's try to combine them, saying that uh, let's define the beta bundling uh, as the better of these two possibilities. One is to sell it separately for any pricing uh, gamma greater or equal to beta, or uh, it is one uh, the, this uh, bundling with, with surcharge for, for any surcharge value. So you can see that we are uh, what we are doing is trying to extend the uh, uh, Bobby F et al. Uh, the the maximum of the selling separately and and the bundling uh, in the for the standard uh, one buyer uh, K item case to the case uh, when we have this. Uh, uh, beta exclusive uh, mechanisms, and, and, and now armed with that, so uh, it, uh, it seems that uh, if the the maximum of selling separately and the bundling uh, uh, is a is, is, is a constant factor approximation of the uh, uh, of the, the the one buyer k item case, then uh, the uh, uh, mechanism. We, we define the beta bundling that we define uh, probably would also be a, a, pro, a good approximation of the uh, best uh, beta exclusive mechanism. So uh, we work under that 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 uh, conviction. And so now with that, we can uh, uh, just put the pieces together and define the uh, very natural mechanism uh, in the following way that I'm given a n by k bit matrix, and where the items are uh, uh, in the independent, and uh, 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 the uh, uh, step one is for uh, each bidder, uh, uh, for each buyer, the seller would conduct a one buyer k item auction, uh, where the bid is just the bid from the uh, the eight buyer. And uh, the seller would use the beta bundling for the distribution, uh, assuming that you have already uh, seen the valuations of all the others. So conditional on that, you look at the di distribution and you design the best uh, beta bundling uh, method for that. And now clearly this is a deterministic and truthful mechanism and uh, 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 what we would like to show is that uh, this mechanism, DBG, uh, achieves a constant factor of the optimal revenue. Now, in order to show, uh, to do that, uh, let's assume that you have, you have any mechanism M, we, want, we will show that uh, its revenue is bounded by a constant times what can be achieved by the uh, DBG uh, mechanism that we uh, have mentioned. And now, so the, the, the idea is to, to compare the uh, uh, revenue obtained from M with that uh, obtained by DBG uh, in a uh, reduced dimension. Uh, namely that we would like to, to actually compare each buyer. And uh, we ideally, we would like to show that the, uh, the revenue contributed by buyer I is approximately the same in both cases. But of course, uh, in real algorithms, uh, this, this may not happen because uh, it is quite, quite possible that uh, one can assign all the items to one buyer, and, and uh, whether they are big or small, and we get an enormous large uh, revenue from it. Uh, so uh, what we would like to do is to uh, uh, to uh, to do some accounting trick, namely that we'll uh, do the accounting by redefining the revenue contributed by the ice buyer in such a way that uh, the total revenue remains the same. But uh, one can show that in this adjusted revenue, uh, the buyer I would have at most. Uh, the amount that the, the DGB uh, mechanism case. And uh, so uh, uh, let's uh, do it in, in the uh, formulas. The, the revenue from DBG is the sum contribution from all the buyers and uh, the expected value 
of that the beta i bundling coming from the uh, appropriate uh, distribution. Now, the revenue coming from the uh, mechanism M will rewrite it so that we are going to take away a portion uh, which we'll uh, call it a dumping tax. And uh, the, uh, uh, this portion is defined to be the, uh, the sum of the, the value that is uh, coming from selling the items at below the, the, the threshold price. So in other words, we are trying to discourage the, uh, the, 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 the uh, so if, if, some, uh, if some buyer contributes a big uh, revenue, we'll try to kind of discourage the uh, uh, loading up of uh, that amount by uh, just, just uh, dumping a lot of the small items to them. And, and so we subtract that off because that, that in our view, is not a, a, a good way of doing business. And, and so um, let's rewrite it in, in that fashion. And now what we uh, can see is that one can call the total uh, revenue uh, is written as the sum of the adjusted revenue and uh, uh, plus a, a total tax coming from all the, the buyers. And now, the total tax actually turns out to be small because uh, an item can only be sold once uh, in terms of the total fraction. So uh, if you uh, just add all this together, if uh, some buyer uh, sold a lot uh, for some item, then uh, the other buyers would uh, have to sell very little, of the, uh, uh, would get very little from that. And so uh, the, 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 it's easy to, to, to see that the, uh, uh, the, 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 the total tax is bounded by the uh, uh, expected value of the uh, uh, second maximum for all the items. So in other words, it's really uh, bounded by the revenue that can be obtained by a victory uh, auction. So it's, it's small uh, according to our uh, 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 considerations. And now, once we have taken care of that, uh, it remains and it suffices to, sh to show that uh, the adjusted revenue, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's bounded by a constant times the corresponding revenue coming from the, the beta I bundling. And, 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 and so in other words, uh, this means that, that if I, uh, it, it, it's, uh, um, uh, in terms of the adjusted revenue, uh, you cannot do much, much better than just doing the, the beta uh, bundling. And the, so uh, we, let's just put them in, in, in symbols. The revenue X is the uh, optimal revenue by any beta exclusive mechanism, and the revenue A is the optimal adjusted revenue. And uh, uh, we want to achieve the constant, uh, 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 the constant factor inequality by the following two lemmas. One is that, uh, that, that uh, the, the, if you compare the, 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 the optimal uh, uh, adjusted revenue by any mechanism and compare it with the optimal value by any uh, beta exclusive mechanism, uh, it's at most a factor of. And the second lemma says that, that uh, beta bundling is a pretty good beta exclusive uh, mechanism. So if you uh, put these two things together, then uh, it uh, gives the desired uh, inequality that, that we would like to have. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, I would mention that lemma one is really the hardest part of the, uh, technically the hardest part of the proof. So uh, let me just uh, uh, say a few words about the proof of lemma one. And, and uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in essence, the, uh, to prove this lemma, one needs to, to uh, prove something of the following nature. You have two distributions, F and F, uh, F prime, where F prime is obtained by relabeling some of the points in the support of F. So it becomes a different distribution uh, in this fashion. And we need to prove that uh, despite this relabeling, 
uh, the optimal revenue for this distribution uh, would still be a constant factor of the original one. Now, uh, so uh, in order to do this, one need to, to do the following. Take the optimal uh, mechanism for F, and we want to transform it into a mechanism M prime for the uh, new distribution, such that the uh, M prime on F prime will have a constant factor of the revenue of M. And now, uh, in general, taking M prime what do you mean by relabeling? No. Uh, uh, so uh, I look at the original support, and uh, I would just uh, relabel some of the, uh, for example, uh, if originally is 3, 5, uh, I would just uh, label, uh, label it, relabel it by adding 2 to both of them, so that their, their value has been increased. So in other words, it's sort of a... Changing the provision weight, but changing the values. Uh, yeah, changing the values, not all uniformly, but, but, but some of them. And so in, in, it's a particular type of, uh, of profile changing, but it's a, it's, it's a very specific one. Are you preserving order when you relay them? Uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it, it's, but it's a, I mean, it doesn't work in general. It, it, it just works for the uh, relabeling that, that, that we need for, in order to prove this. Uh, but the, 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 uh, the, I think the, the, the uh, qualitative feature uh, that, that I'm going to mention, I think it's a general principle, that uh, if you take, if you say that, well, since the, the, the relabeling is not that, uh, doesn't change that much, uh, if I just use the original mechanism, uh, how does it, uh, would it work? Uh, that will not work. And because the revenue would be sensitive to re relabeling, uh, because the, the uh, uh, you might, uh, because, because we are interested in the revenue and uh, just a small change in my opt, find it advantageous to go to an option where the price is much lower. So we want to prevent people from defecting. And instead, uh, what we did was to modify the menu original by the, the following two things. One is to throw away the low yield entries, the, the, the entries where the price is small. And then for the remaining items, uh, we would, for the remaining entries, we would lower the price of all those by a constant factor. So we kind of give a discount. And, and so uh, you can recognize this probably is a good business practice for some company that wants to really keep its customer base. And uh, 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 now interestingly, after this modification, the, 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 under the new menu for this uh, new distribution, it's a, it's more stable. So uh, essentially, the customers usually doesn't want to change its option. And if it changes, it's going to go for a higher price. And now, the reason being that, 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 um, th that by lowering the price, you are increasing the difference between uh, the utility of uh, the buyer compared with the, uh, the other options. So uh, unless you go for a higher price, if, if you go to a lower price uh, that previously is not attractive, then uh, it will still not be attractive. And, and the difference is enhanced sufficiently so that if you do some relabeling of the points, you cannot overcome this. And, 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 and so that's the... And now uh, let's come to the, uh, about question two. Uh, now, the question of whether the, the Bayesian notion of IC uh, is a much, uh, gives you, gives you a much stronger revenue than the uh, dominant strategy one uh, uh, is an interesting question that uh, I think that, that in, in Meyerson's uh, work, it, it, it shows that actually for the one dimensional case, the Bayesian is the same as the uh, dominant strategy and uh, 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 the relation between the Bayesian and the dominant strategy has been a, a very a consistent of interest uh, for researchers and, and uh, 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 even in the last few years, you, uh, I think there are, there are quite a number of uh, papers about the uh, uh, equivalence of the Bayesian and the, the dominant strategy in the one dimensional case uh, with various uh, 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 refinement. It's not 
not just revenue, but, but, but uh, other structures. However, for the multi-item case, um, I think there has been uh, uh, not that much known about it. So, um, the, uh, so we would like to answer it uh, in the case when all the NK distributions are independent in our, in our setting. And, and uh, now, uh, I'm just going to give you a, a, a kind of high-level uh, uh, steps of, of this proof. Uh, now, uh, recall in, in the proof of theorem one, we uh, uh, said that uh, any mechanism M uh, can be written down this revenue as the sum of a bunch of just the revenues and plus a dumping a, a dumping tax, and uh, and then we showed that the uh, uh, dumping tax in that case is uh, bounded by the victory revenue, and therefore uh, uh, now uh, the, uh, the the fact that the adjusted revenue is uh, it's 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 bounded by uh, uh, some other things is it, another. Uh, ingredients, but that's already uh, done. And so in the proof of theorem two, we would like to follow the same sort of, 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 of outline. We want to show that any of the Bayesian IC mechanism uh, would satisfy the form that the revenue can be written down as the sum of a bunch of adjusted revenue and uh, uh, plus a uh, BIC dumping tax. And that the adjusted revenue is exactly the same adjusted revenue as in the in, in the original case, and and so the fact that 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 one one can de make a decomposition of the uh, uh, the auction into n separate disjoint uh, one dimensional uh, auctions uh, gives us so much structure that it's possible uh, to show that that for even for the Bayesian case, it's possible to manipulate the expression so that you can write in this form. But uh, admittedly, that uh, the, the, in the proof of theorem two, uh, this step, uh, this step, right, writing it down as uh, these two parts uh, takes more imagination than the first one. I think that in the, the proof of theorem one, this part is completely trivial. It's just minus a term and a plus a term. And but in this case, you have to uh, uh, you have to do more in order to do it. And the interesting thing is that one can show that even though the, the, the Bayesian IC, the dumping tax, uh, is not bounded by the victory, you, you can no longer write, write it down as the expected value of the, the second max. But uh, fortunately, you can bound it by the uh, uh, value of the, uh, uh, of the selling, selling item uh, separately using the best. And, and, and so uh, uh, that's, that's the, the, the essence of what you need to do. And there are other results because, because uh, after we have uh, gone through the, uh, theorem one uh, proof, uh, we have known so much about the, uh, if, we are, if we only care about constant factor approximation, then we have known so much that it's even possible to write down explicit expression uh, for, uh, for, the, for the auction. Uh, uh, in particular, if, if all the items are, are IIDF, then uh, you can write down the uh, revenue uh, explicitly up to a constant factor. And, and uh, uh, furthermore, it's possible to, to simplify the uh, uh, mechanism for achieving this bound by uh, 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 something called uh, second price bundling. So instead of having a uh, bundling with surcharge that varies depending on other inputs, you can just uh, have chosen a uniform uh, parameter W and you say that uh, I'm performing uh, this bundling with the surcharge W for all the, I for, for, for all the buyers. And, and uh, so it's a, it's a very simple description uh, that, that can achieve that. And so uh, in conclusion, uh, we have seen that, um, that it's possible to, to decompose it into uh, n one-dimensional auctions. And uh, the insight allow us to construct a simple constant factor approximation and also other results, such as uh, knowing the relation between Bayesian and the revenue. And uh, it's, of course, it's, it's, uh, it would be very interesting to have much improved solution because the constant is still, is still very large. And I, I certainly cannot believe that uh, that's the only solution uh, we can find. 
And, uh, but I think the most interesting uh, problem in this is, is really uh, about uh, some bigger things. Uh, I think that, that the, uh, uh, the Hart and the Nissan showed that for the uh, uh, one buyer uh, multi-item case, the um, auctions are, 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 are additive. And, uh, uh, but for the, for the end buyer case, and I, I looked at it pretty hard, but, but I just couldn't find a way to make it work, although uh, I, I believe that, um, that, that, that must, be, must be the case. Namely that if you have two uh, auctions that you want to do, is it possible by combining them into one auction and, and get a more than a constant factor of the, uh, uh, that you can obtain by doing it separately? I think just philosophically, it's a tremendously uh, uh, intriguing uh, question that um, and, and, and and in fact I, I believe that that if one can solve questions of that kind you will get uh, you have to get a lot more insight into the uh, multi-item auction problem so thank you very much Mechanism achieves a constant factor of the adjusted, but do you know of a distribution mechanism where there's a gap between the adjusted revenue? And the I do not know any. I think that uh, that that uh, as far as I can tell, it could be that you know that 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 the the uh, uh, beta exclusive is the is the best way for doing that. Yeah. So it would be very very interesting to 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 have a, a counter a, a kind of a, a counter example. Yes. Uh, can I ask the same question for the Bayesian revenue and the dominant strategy revenue? Do you know of an example where the Bayesian is strictly better? I don't know. I, I think it's, it's quite interesting. I think that in the literature, people have constructed a multi-dimensional type of auction for which that Bayesian is different. However, it's they are for a more general type of auctions and, and for the natural auctions that we are considering, I, I, I don't know any 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 such such example. So. Um, uh, um, I, I don't know. Maybe one should do a computer experiment. I think it's just simply that somehow um, the um, instances, the, the the numbers get so large that that it's it's hard to write it down and check it manually. <laughs>